So I literally just got off work. Uh, literally, like I was, I just did a 24 hour shift, dude. Like from nine o'clock to nine o'clock. Like I'm tired as hell. I just wanted to go inside, lay down in bed and get some rest, you know? And then I see a text of my friend saying that, you know, you know, another one of my childhood icons has passed away. And I was wondering, well, who is he talking about? Because we just lost Kevin Conroy, you know, um, who's been the voice of Batman since before I was alive, probably, what, 93? Yeah, since before I was alive. And I didn't really know what to say, so I didn't really sp speak about it. So I guess I'll just briefly say, rest in peace, Kevin Conroy, man, everybody, we're going to miss you. Like, from the animated series to the Arkham games. The Under the Red Hood and Justice League and just all every, so you know just rest in peace man but then like to hear this just ruined my entire day probably my week probably everything Jason David Frank has passed away if you don't know who Jason David Frank is he's he's the 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 green pirate he's the he's the mighty warfare green ranger and he was the red turbo ranger and the red zero ranger <laughs> and, and 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 the black dino dunder ranger bro he's J jason david frank bro like personally like i like love the green ranger i love the green ranger as much as i love iron man like he's like one of my favorite superheroes of all time i love the green ranger so much uh, I, I love tommy oliver the character so much but on the person of a jason david frank as a person is is one of the few people i could consider like a personal hero of mine he's super motivational i love listening to his poetry i love like i, I just love the fact that he will teach people self-defense from a from a super early age and became a pirate is like as the character tommy oliver and as the person jason david frank is an amazing amazing person he was so involved with the Power Ranger community, Power Ranger fans, which to me is super awesome because, you know, like it was always stigmatized to like be a Power Ranger fan. It was a, always stigmatized to be a fan of like superheroes and anime in general, but like with like Dragon Ball and like Marvel movies and stuff like that, liking anime and superheroes became much more mainstream and had less of a stigma around it, but Power Rangers has always been kind of like weird for people like Power Rangers. And over the last couple of years, it's, it's gotten more and more lenient and people, you know, didn't harass Power Ranger fans so much. But I've always loved Power Rangers for like what they mean and what they represent. And on the later seasons, it got kind of just too childish and goofy for me. But it's always been like a, if you watch a lot of the original seasons, I would say up to like Mystic Force, it was always like a great source of moral fiber, life lessons that could be learned, learned, um, lessons of, of determination, um, not quitting, not giving up, going against all odds. And, you know, it was, and there are things that like, you know, man, this sucks, bro. I'm really trying to fucking like, it, you know, it was like. You know, it was always the things like, you know, inevitably the Rangers will lose their powers at some point in the season. And they'll be like, you know, you may not have your powers, but you're still a Power Ranger. Or like once a Ranger, always a Ranger. Just stuff like that. It's just like, even when the odds seem impossible for you to defeat them, that doesn't mean you should stop trying. Stuff like that. I resonate with stuff like that. I carry with me into my line of work that I do now. In the military and Jason David Frank, man, that dude is so awesome, bro. He loved the fans and he never looked at us like we were weird or anything like that. And there was a lot of like people who were like Rangers who, um, actors who played Rangers who didn't like to them, it was just a gig. They played some character and then they moved on with their life or whatever. And that's cool, they have every right to do that, but they were never really attached to that fan base. But Jason David Frank was super attached to the fan base, he never let us go. He would do fan films and short films and stuff for creators and YouTube and stuff like that. He was super involved. <sighs> he loved us as much as we loved him. Man, this is weird, dude. This is weird. I can't believe Jason David Frank is dead. I'm tr I'm processing like oh.
this is gonna sound silly, but like I always wanted to be like a superhero, right? You know what I mean? I guess it's part of the reason why I do what I do now, you know. And Jason Freak is definitely one of those reasons. He he was like a superhero to people, you know. Like he he would he would you know go visit sick children. He it's just like I I'm trying to find words. I'm trying to find words. I'm just so sad. I'm just so sad right now. But I have a belief, so I'm trying to hold on to it. I don't, obviously, you process, you know, I've never met him personally. I would have loved to, never met him personally, but it's just like, uh, I, I have a belief, I have a strong belief that at the end of the day, you shouldn't be sad someone's gone, but appreciate and be grateful for the time that they were there. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just like, it was, he was such a blessing to the planet, man. It was like, he was a personal motivation for me both as himself and as the character Tommy Oliver, like, he just, he was an amazing person, and he passed away so young, I didn't even look into the details of how he passed away, I just saw the, I just, I just saw my friend's text, I was like, no, that, I was like, that's bullshit, don't fuck with me, and then I just googled Jason David Frank, and the first thing that popped up was passed away at 49, I was like, nah, man, I, and I just closed it down, and then, like, I just, I just, I, I just, I can't, I just can't, like, I, I Like, I was really distraught when Kevin Conroy passed. But I, I'm just so, like, out of it right now. Mr. Frank, rest in peace, man. Like, you were super cool, dude. You were super cool. Hell, Hydra.